Hello Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising and welcome to April 20, no, 2022 uh, readings with me. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and uh, let's get started to see what's in store this month. Well, this month, globally speaking, is going to be a very, very important month. You will see. Take care of your energies, take care of your well-being and um, try to remain in your center, my dear Librans, okay? So let's get started. Let's see. It starts with a wonderful, wonderful energy over here. Beautiful energy of love, happiness, joy and serenity for you. What a wonderful start, my dear Librans. And uh, I am also seeing that uh, you might be visited by uh, an, an old friend of yours or somebody you have not heard from. Uh, someone who's very very loving and you have had a good bond like a kind of a bestie or best friend that you might um, you know meet in the first week of this month this is what I see and I also see for Librans is that there is this masculine energy that is going to play an important part uh, in your lives in the first week it can be your brother who is coming from far or who is visiting you it can be uh, for the single Librans, it can be your partner, a new partner coming up, um, showing up uh, into your life. It will be a sudden meeting with someone that can be quite a memorable one and that might almost change your life in some way, in a good way, I would say. And uh, I see also um, it can be also a new colleague or a new friend that you will make, but a masculine energy over here, this is what I see. I also see um, that lot of good news in a short period of time that can come uh, your way in the first week. So it is a beautiful, beautiful energy and even for Libra students, Libra students, you have to really uh, work together with your friends um, and you know, uh, that give and take of knowledge, that sharing of knowledge uh, will be very much enhanced in the first week. So do rather, I would say, take the opportunity to revise with your friends because that will be a very good way to revise and it will stay in your memory also for long, not just for the exams, okay? And then we go to the second week. And in the second week, I'm seeing, my dear Librans, you didn't calculate well your budget and now you find yourself in a, a tight corner. You can find yourself in a tight corner in the sense um, um, some, some kind of expenditure can come up. Maybe um, you have to pay some bills um, which were not paid yet. Uh, you, had to, uh, you have to um, give money to a certain, um, certain relative who is asking for more money at this point of time. They need it maybe for a health reason, maybe sudden things are coming up for them and then, you know, or maybe for your children uh, that uh, you have to advance some money and now you are in a tight corner. So you have been spending and now you find yourself in a bit of a tight corner or maybe because of the sky high rocketing prices, things are getting a bit um, difficult to manage, all right? And hence, since two years, I've been telling everyone everywhere save save and save okay because this day was meant to come and here we are all right so now whatever we have saved and i had said maintain the squirrel mentality and whatever was i was saving a little bit which we have kept on the side will be of use now so in the second week just be careful of where you are spending and um, if you do have surplus then yes you can uh, manage to give it to people in need, but otherwise you have to stick to the reality also. We cannot just flow in the emotions and, you know, I mean, you cannot donate when you yourself are in a tough position, right? So over here, uh, just be careful regarding your money matters. Even for students, you might find that um, Things are a bit expensive regarding that university or you have joined a particular university and now you are finding it difficult because uh, you need more money for certain other expenses that you had not considered before. Or maybe now the prices have risen so everything is getting expensive. So in the second week, my dear Librans, please hold on tight to your resources, okay, your financial resources especially. This is what I would like to say. 
and then we go to the third week and the third week is all about work you are thinking about work now my dear librans you are thinking about um, if you were not doing any job then you are thinking about doing some kind of manual job also uh, librans will be very um, devoted in whatever they are doing at workplace you are going to be completely immersed in your work very very busy this is what i am seeing some of you will be doing some gardening activities also some of you might also take gardening up as a profession also yeah and that can yield you uh, something really nice also later on in life this is what i see the green space uh, the you know the green decoration or just doing gardening or you know helping people with their gardens or setting setting up gardens this is what i'm seeing for librans in the third week and also my dear librans um, your communication skills are going to be really good so negotiation skills are going to be pretty good so use it to your advantage my dear libra students also your communications are going to be very uh, skills are going to be very very good so if you have any oral viva exams uh, this is going to be really really a uh, good time because you are going to be very good at expressing yourselves and i'm also seeing my dear librans that you need to take care of some kind of sharp objects for some of you it can also be a time to undergo a small surgery that was long awaited or maybe one small thing in the tooth you know that had to be cleaned and things like that nothing very very major but yes you might have to undergo through some of you might have to undergo through a scalpel uh, but that was long awaited okay that uh, it's not something out of the blue that is coming but you were you were waiting for this and now is the third week is the time when you get your appointment finally for it all right just be careful with sharp objects huh? uh, my dear librans uh, that i would like to tell you and then we go to the last week my dear librans and the last week of the month is about a feminine energy once again you're busy with your work um it can be a colleague of yours that you need to take care rather i would say beware of a colleague of yours uh, who might um, not be very very honest and you cannot trust this person you know sometimes we trust people we feel they are so nice and all but at the end of the day uh, we find or rather we learn that they have been working against us all this while <laughs> and then we are like wow <laughs> what this has been happening on my back and oh i trusted this person and see what this person has given to me today so this kind of a situation can arise in the last week okay so just be careful i'm also seeing some of you uh, visiting some administrative offices where you are coming in touch with this feminine energy here and uh, this feminine energy is somebody who is very intelligent okay and uh, she is very uh, good at her work but she is extremely selfish and can be a bit um, opportunist kind of a person okay your she doesn't believe in charity or giving somebody their uh, their dues but she will want everything for herself so you need to take care of that my dear uh, librans with this kind of a feminine energy in the last week while if you are a lady libra then i see that lady librans are going to be very busy uh, with work and they are also going to have a streak of selfishness when they work so just be careful that it doesn't go overboard my dear lady libra okay being a bit selfish is required in life sometimes because if you are too selfless then people will just eat you up uh, <laughs> this is what i have learned <laughs> but uh, you have to be a bit uh, selfish you have to be a bit tough at times right like they say you know if the if the sea had the sweet the, the sea water was sweet today we wouldn't have a sea it would you know this is, everybody would just drink the whole water up but there was that requirement of salt was very much in was required for the sea so that it sustains itself so this kind of a bit of you know toughness or yeah a bit of uh, i would not say rude but a kind of a strictness firmness is required my dear libra um, because all the time being sweet is going to leave you feeling abused yeah in the literal sense i would say uh this is why you need to be careful in the last week all right and also i see that for some of the librans 
gentlemen i see that someone from the past will try to con contact you and this person can be your past uh, person of your life who's going to try to uh, contact you uh, but i would say that they don't have very good intentions so what you do with it uh, will be your call but i would like to tell you my dear neighbors that be, just be careful in the last week the feminine energy that you're dealing with is not very um, much there to get the best out of you all right so just be careful about that and for some of you it can be that uh, some kind of a hidden affair or a hidden relationship comes to light in a, in the relationships or rather the people who you know like oh you this person had this relation i didn't even know yeah so this kind of things can come to light also some kind of revelations of secrets can happen in the last week regarding a feminine energy this is what i see my dear librans for you all so well 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 that's quite a month right <laughs> so thank you my dear libra for listening please do like share and comment and i shall see you next month until then take good care of yourself bye bye god bless